Hello, I'm standing at the entrance to the Chapel of the Holy Apostles. This chapel can be found in Peeper Hall on the main floor. Originally a reception room at the base of Luther Tower, this chapel was dedicated in 1963 and is now mainly used for private meditation, small group devotions, and special prayer services. Located in the center of the chapel, you will find the altar. The altar is made of solid granite. Its dark color symbolizes the sins of the world that Christ took upon himself on the altar of the cross. On top of the altar are five crosses that remind us of the wounds Christ received during the crucifixion. One cross for each wound in his hand and feet and one for the spear in his side. Wrapping around the trim of the altar is a Greek excerpt from Romans 10. How can one hear without a preacher and how can they preach unless they have been sent? This passage encapsulates the main purpose of the seminary, which is to prepare men for the office of the ministry and women for diaconal ministry. The altar sits upon a mariner's compass inlaid into the chapel floor, signifying the sending of the church to all nations. On the ceiling is the Great Commission, Go ye therefore into all the world, from Matthew 28, 19, which ties into the presence of the mariner's compass. To the left of the altar is a three-dimensional wood carving of the Holy Trinity by William C. Severson. It's called the Throne of Grace. Notice that this carving shows God the Father in human form, including his face with defined features. Above the figure of God the Son, with his arms outstretched on the cross, is God the Holy Spirit, depicted as a dove. This carving was created to assert that the work of redemption is the work of the Trinity. Behind the carving is the Te Deum window. This window reminds us of the goal and purpose for which God sent his Son, for which Jesus sent his apostles, and for which the Holy Spirit continues to send pastors, deaconesses, missionaries, and other believers into the world. That goal is to share the gospel. To the right of the throne of grace wood carving is the mission window. In the center is Christ, the message of Christian mission. To Christ's right is the Apostle Paul, holding the sword, and to Christ's left is the Apostle Thomas. Thomas took the gospel of Jesus Christ to India. Paul and Thomas signify God's mission and the journey of the gospel to the ends of the earth. When you enter the chapel of the Holy Apostles, directly above you is the eternal flame candle. Crafted around the candle, the flame reads in Hebrew, and the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, from Isaiah 11:2. At the entrance to the Chapel of the Holy Apostles lays two books containing brief biographies of pastors who served the Synod from 1945 to 1963. Biographies are periodically added to these books.